Rocky. Is that a crow? <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Today we're gonna make the feeder for the new chicken coop. Um, okay now, Rocky, let's go. We get it all out because I gotta do this. You know what? <laughs> We're about to make a feeder and I hope y'all enjoy this video. We got Sammy here and Mia. Hi guys. And we are gonna first cut our base. So we have our palette here and we're gonna cut from one end. Sammy touch that end. Yep to the other we're gonna keep our base and then we're gonna take um i had a one by a one by but i think i'm just gonna uh, use a piece of plywood instead and we're gonna cover that and make um a bottom i'll i'll show you no worry i'll show you okay so we have our palette here and we already have our piece of plywood that i've made to serve as the bottom and we're gonna screw this here but first we're gonna disconnect this portion here from the palette okay Sammy here is gonna go ahead and start our cuts and he's gonna cut all the way across Great job, okay. This is what we are left with after cutting it from the palette. I'm gonna leave these little pieces on here. They're not gonna make or break anything. It's totally fine um, to take them off or leave them on. And I'm gonna use this piece of plywood instead of the one by because my one by will have too many gaps, which will cause the feet to fall through. Especially on this back side, it's like completely open. So instead, I'm this plywood we cut it. It sits flush on both sides, so I don't have to worry about any feed coming out of the feeder. Now I made one already. This one is just because I wanted y'all to see how I made the feeder. In case anyone asks, this is the feeder that's going to go on today, and I actually did use a one by for this one. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna fill it with feet, and there's seven of them in there. It's more than enough room for them to get around the feeder and feed. Simple as that. That's all we gotta do. So Sammy's gonna go ahead and, and put in our screws, and then we'll be good to go. Alright, so Sammy has put in the screws that we need, and this is what we're left with. This is what we have. Now, like I said, this one is just for demonstrational purposes. It's an extra one. The one that we are going to screw in today is just like it. The only difference is that I have a one by on the bottom of the other one, and this one is plywood. So, let's take this one and go screw it into the coop.
basket, I have put the put the feeder on, filled it with feed, and right away they started standing on it and eating at the same time. And that could cause them to poop in the food. So I'm gonna take a piece of um, uh, roofing material that we had left over to make like a visor so that they're not able to just, just um, jump on the feeder and start uh, pooping in it. So the roofing is working. They are not trying to stand on the feeder now. Okay, y'all, we are done. We have our feeder in. They're feeding. They're not climbing on top of it. It's secure, and all we needed was a piece of a pallet, some roofing material, and a few screws, and that's it. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.